Oh, oh, the, the recording started. Okay, whoops. Um, so, uh, this isn't... This, this is... Uh, I've already seen what this update's gonna be about. Because of the data mines, it's basically... I ba It's basically the same thing. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, there are some certain things I'm not looking forward to. New dinosaur... Okay, well, again, uh, that looks really cool. I, like, that's the thing. Oh, wow, Draco Venator really does just look like Dilophosaurus, doesn't it? Actually, it looks like a very toned down ver... Like, Dilophosaurus in real life has much bigger crests than what the movie has, so, uh, this looks like looks more like a real-life Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Without the frill, of course. Uh, now we know that this dude is basically- I've already- we've already read this description of- in the data mines a few- of a while back, and we knew this guy was gonna be a unique. But what we didn't know was that Ceratosaurus was also gonna be a unique. And worst of all, he, he's worse than Draco Venator because he's event exclusive. So wonderful. We don't get to. Ha we have. It's gonna be spend eighty four dollars to get your Ceratosaurus. Oh wow, that's so nice. Okay, this one's a cunning. So it's like swap and distraction, tough group cunning strike, frustrating impact. Oh, frustrating is right. Very uh, very appropriate. Cunning rampage. Cloaked Rampage Alert. We'll need to find out what that is later. And then you have Piercing Headbutt. That looks like a counter. It doesn't look like a sw like. Okay, so the symbol. Okay, there's no swap. There's no symbol there. But then, okay, it has no escape and oh, it's a fierce, resilient counterattacker. So it means it is getting the uh, Majungasaurus, Rajasaurus animation. Uh, this okay. So from this, well, they'll explain what it is later. So, but uh, do I see any other new moves? Lacerate and Intimidate. And then these two moves are pretty much the same. Heavy Strike and Resilient Rampage. Uh, okay. That, that's about it for the new creatures. Was really, really hoping to see Staracosaurus and Toro this time around. But no, we're getting... Uh, well, again, the, there's nothing wrong with getting Draco Venator and Ceratosaurus. Those, like... I, the Ceratosaurus has been a creature that me and a lot of people, I'm sure you watching this video, yes, you, you right there, maybe not you, but you definitely, have been waiting for Ceratosaurus to come to the game for such a long time. The only problem is, we didn't want him to be unique. Why, like, I guess, I, I know that Ceratosaurus is a fan favorite amongst the fandom, but is it really worthy of the title of unique? Like, Rexy. Rexy would make the most sense. Blue. Indominus Rex, even. Those make sense for a unique uh, category. Well, technically, not really, because back then, epic and unique were supposed to... It was all... This is just uh, just another sign of Ludia just breaking their own rules that they established in the past. Like, this is just... I, that's just something that I keep bringing up a long time ago. Uh, their lot... Their, uh, their uh, reasoning for nerfing our Dentist Maxima was that they wanted it to be worse than Gemini Titan, since Diplodocus is more rare than Brachiosaurus. So they wanted to make- they wanted their creatures to be as good as their DNA components. And- and a creature would be as good as rip depending on its rarity. And how hard it is to obtain it. And then this- so then- but then they just threw that all out the window and just said, uh, we don't really care about any of that, we're just saying that we can do whatever the heck we want. As long as you're spending money, we don't actually care. Ugh, this, that's basically what I see when I see this, the, these uniques. They're not saying... They, they disguise it as, we're thinking of a way to expand your adventure. No, we're just thinking of ways to take your wallets. To, to like, banish your wallets to the Shadow Realm and into our pockets. That's basically all this is, because you know that all those VIPs are going to just, the moment that incubator comes out, they're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on those incubators to max out their Ceratosaurus, only for them to nerf it in like, well, not nerf it, but release something to counter it in the next update. Okay, sorry for that little rant, I'm going to move on. Frustrating impact. Uh, targets, hi target highest damage opponent. Reduce damage by 50% for four attacks, two turns, uh... Okay, I'm a bit... Okay, sorry, my head feels a little light because, uh... Uh, just a little tired. Okay, hang on. I'm okay, I'm okay. Self, 50% chance to dodge. So this is basically just dodging distraction. It's it's an impact... Yeah, this is basically... 
This is a lesser version of uh, Instant Cunning Impact, which is already legit, uh, Ankylodactylus' signature move, and uh, this is just a weaker version of it. Okay, okay, I guess that's okay. Cloaked Rampage Alert. Target lowest HP. Attack times 2. Reduce damage by 50%. Then itself gets uh, uh, the Cloak ability, and then deals dam 2 times damage on the next turn. Delay 1, cooldown 2. And while threatened, is there any difference at all? Attack times 2, uh, 50% for 2 turns to attacks. Uh, automatic swap? Oh, okay, no, no, hang on. So, after, when it's, while, I, while it's threatened, it decides it doesn't want to cloak, it wants to get out of there. So it becomes a ramp, uh, a distracting, uh, evasive rampage and run. While, uh, this one is just like, it, it goes cloak, and it's ready to attack, deal some heavy damage next turn. Okay, piercing headbutt. So, when the Ceratosaurus is hurt... Okay, did they actually give the Ceratosaurus a new animation for its headbutt? Because this is a counterattack, so I expect to see its animation do a little headbutt. Rather than... If it's still biting, while it's... Then that means, ugh. Target attacker. Attack times one, bypassing armor and dodge. Self-increase armor by 10%. And then, uh... And damage by 10%, okay. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, not too op- doesn't sound very OP at all. Which is I'm okay with, because I'm, I'm kind of sick of just watching creatures just become the most OP things in the game. Highest HP, target one- okay, attack one- okay, t attack for a very weird amount of damage. Bleed, and uh... Cooldown three. That's a weird move. They could have just added lethal wound, but okay, sure. Let's make a let's make a totally new weird bleed move instead. Intimidate. Target fastest opponent. Reduce speed by fifty percent for four attacks. It's there. Why do they do this? You, the speed decrease has nothing to do with attacks. So why do they make it confusing by adding that very very confusing additional dialogue? Ugh. Two. Okay. Reduce speed for two turns. Self, cleanse increased damage, and... Okay, sorry, no, sorry. It just cleanses itself, then it increases its own damage and armor for 25% four attacks, two turns. See, that one makes sense, because you need to d specify how many attacks the increased damage is needed for. You don't need that for the deceleration. Dispersed Fierce Imp Y. So, hang on. Target all opponents, remove shields and taunt... Attack 1.5, bypassing arm. Why do they do- Why do they keep adding new versions of group shattering impact? Okay, I know that this one is basically group fierce impact, but it's like, they've already- they've already had group- like, group shattering impact. Then they added group defense shattering impact, which is just a worse version, and now they're adding dispersed fierce impact. So it's like, they have three different abilities that do the exact same thing! Ugh! It's frustrating, it just, it just, every update just makes me, well, okay, the last few updates didn't make me that frustrated, but at the same time they did. Uh, new reactive, oh, okay, sorry. These, these are your, okay, this is an, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to make another rant. This one's actually about the game press. They have yet to add reactive abilities to, like, given us the ability to give our dinosaurs reactive abilities. Like, I want to give... Okay, what, what random uniques do I have? Like, I would just love to edit all of my creatures, or even creatures that I've edited, with their own uh, reactive abilities. But I can't do that because uh, they still have yet to add those reactive abilities. Like, they haven't given us the option to add a reactive ability, and they haven't given us the option to create a reactive ability. So I'm pretty upset that we've it's been this long and they still haven't added that in. Another thing, I think, I bet you that's why they're now adding unique, so they can really cap on this reactive abilities and really get people to buy those catalysts. It's just, it's a big old scam. It does, it's not for, it's not in our interest. No one asked for non-hybrid, hybridized uniques. This is just a scam. That's all it is. And that's why I have to rant about it, because it's, this is actually a problem. They are just stealing our money. 
Not my money, because I'm, I haven't spent a dime on this game. But all those people who do spend millions of dollars to get their creatures to the top board so they can keep these... The, stay on that pedestal, only to just promote this uh, Ludia's way of saying, yes, it's justified. People actually do spend. People think it's worth it. So we might as well raise the prices and add more of these uniques. The next update, we're not going to add any more epics. We're not going to add any more rare. We're going to add nothing but uniques. That's obviously not what's going to happen. They are going to add more epics and commons because they have to. But it's just... Uh... I don't even I don't even want to bother reading these reactive abilities because I'm never gonna unlock these. Well, I'll unlock Ceratosaurus, I'll unlock Draco Venator eventually, but I'm never gonna use them because I know I'm not gonna give in to this scam. Sorry. Okay. I I, I promise. I, I'll I'll refrain from ranting from here on out. New feature. Okay. We know all about that. It's like basically. Draco Venator can spawn. You can f if you find Draco Venator in a short range spawn, then dart it, and that's the only time you'll see it throughout the week. You can only dart one Draco Venator a week. That's how rare it is. It's it's not it's not bad enough that it's going to be like a point impossible chance to find it. It's uh th this isn't me ranting. This is just me stating facts uh, about like how Draco Venator works. It's like you have to you can only you have a very hard time finding it. And at the same time, it takes forever. You can only to find it once a week. So, limitations. Uh, new raid boss, uh, Arctodus and Megalosuchus. Okay, Arctodus is coming is uh, coming to the game. And, uh, sorry, sorry, coming as a raid. And Megalosuchus is coming back. Not that Megalosuchus was something people wanted that much, though. New dinosaur rotations. Okay, we all know this. Draco Venator can be found in wild spawns once a week, and Ceratosaurus is a, an event exclusive. Whoop dee doo. What's improved? Dinosaur updates. Oh, T Rex is getting the buff. Uh, let let's see what they did. Ability. Okay, it got counter ferocity. That means with every time every time you hit T Rex, it'll get stronger. Fierce impact becomes group fierce impact. Look at that, they, they can't even keep up with their own patch notes. This is obviously to do with dispersed fierce impact, but they couldn't even say dispersed in their own... No, 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 Zane, stop it. You promised you wouldn't. No more. Attribu I could have sworn it always had 4800 HP. But I guess, I guess I was, it's been that long since I've actually used a T-Rex. And, oh, that is uh, very pointless, seeing how all of its abilities cleanse vulnerable to begin with. You could have given it... Stun resistance, or I don't know, maybe even distraction resistance if you really wanted to get wild, but no. Let's give it a resistance to the one thing where all its abilities already cleanse it. Brilliant logic, Ludia. Kentrosaurus is an epic dinosaur that has slowly crept out of the usage. Okay, what did you do? You, you boosted its HP by a ton. That's a good boost of HP. Uh, and is now immune to deceleration. It has a distraction resistance and a vulnerable resistance. Okay, okay, yeah. Can, what is Kentrosaurus' abilities, actually? Okay, so here are the abilities of the actual Kentrosaurus. Uh, maybe... I, I, okay, wait, I, I was about to say to change group decelerating strike to impact, but I also forgot... I also remembered now that this thing can... This ability can be spammed. Which means it basically has an option to go for, like... A regular attack where it does like it just goes through it goes through all of the cunning stuff or it can just go for a big group attack it has a choice followed by a big old resilient impact I would probably replace resilient impact with something a little more special but that's just me talking so yeah that buff would actually pretty much help it a lot so yeah Kentrosaurus is actually viable a viable option although here's my Kentrosaurus the one I buffed a while back uh, I did give it armor so uh the Ken Kentrosaurus did not have armor before, and I gave, of course, well, I actually gave mine a very big, okay, so, obviously, resistances, I'll have to add this to mine later. In fact, let's do that right now. Kentrosaurus's HP is bumped up to 4,500. Uh, let me, let me check, did they give it armor? Uh, counter, okay, so, we have boosted her health and added armor to support her counter ability, but you didn't. It doesn't say anywhere where you added armor. So, that's a straight-up lie, unless you just forgot to add the armor to the patch notes, which is, just makes sense, because Ludia is Ludia, and they won't- they will never change. Okay, so my armor stays the same, and now let's, uh, let's keep that the way it is, actually, and then just for- 
add those resistances. So I'm going to keep distraction immunity because that's something I added to all my stegosaurs. Immune to deceleration and vulnerable. We shall go for back to that 50% vulnerable resistance. And uh, just because I want to get wild, I'm going to add a 50% stun resistance. And there is a mini fix to Kentrosaurus, my old Kentrosaurus. Yeah, that's about it. Enhancements updates. So they did they did a bit of changing. I don't know if these are buffs or nerfs because I never bothered to memorize everyone's uh, uh, reactive abilities. All I know is that none of only one of them is something I actually use. Indotaurus's reactive now heals 20% of max HP. I'm pretty sure that's more than what it had before. But then, what are the chances I'm actually going to be able to unlock? Oh wait, actually, Giganix. Giganix has a better reactive now. Trick now triggers when the dinosaur is locked down. Uh, again, don't know if that's better or not, because I have yet to memorize any of these. So, Indotaurus and Giganix got some changes, and Ardensis Maxima has a better armor increase ability. So, I guess, I, I guess these are okay, but again, what are the chances anyone like, like, casual players like you and me, uh, are gonna be able to unlock these? And what's this? Login improvements after signing out of a third-party log- okay, that's none of my business. We now two point three will increase the gains minimum uh, whatever. Uh, but uh, what about these? Filtering and sorting the dinosaur screen should now work properly. Fix an issue where some dinosaurs were displayed as having more skin than usual. Dio Raja's passive reactive passive should now be properly triggered upon receiving direct damages. The Draco Ceratops no longer has a reactive ability. Oh, that sucks. Well, not that it was any useful anyway. Tyrannometrodon's reactive won't, won't was changed to reflect its design intention okay damages inflicted with the alberto spinus okay the, these looks like just a bunch of changes to the reactive abilities the sheltering impact description has been updated to better reflect its effects trichosaurus's me medium counterattack description has been updated to better reflect its effects and pyrorixus's dispersed cautious strike behavior has been updated to reflect the design intention uh currently working on solutions to players may sometimes experience issues while playing the daily incubator video ad players might have trouble starting a friendly battle during a raid session the game can switch a la to landscape mode uh oh uh, that's that stuff is kind of boring it's making me yawn uh so uh, am i ex so what's to be excited for um pretty de I okay i'm gonna say this is like a decent like despite the fact that it's the resistance is dumb i will say that that's a good buff for t-rex i still think it needs a lot more to be considered a meta relevant dinosaur though uh but then kentrosaurus is actually pretty solid got a pretty solid buff i'd say kentrosaurus got the most love well there's only two op options here so yeah kentrosaurus got the good stuff here uh, I do like, I do like the look of this Draco Venator, and I do really love that Stratosaurus is finally coming into the game, though I am pretty bummed out that they're so difficult to come by now. Okay, that's where I'm going to end this video, and uh, I'll see you uh, on uh, Tuesday when I upload the actual update. Well, uh, yeah, 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 so, 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 bye-bye. I'm going to fall asleep because I'm, I'm pretty tired.